Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen Man. I'm Saiken, we're playing a legendary Iron Man difficulty of Long War and this is our second episode of uh, the freeing of West Africa. We're invading an HQ. We have killed a few enemies so far, but that was only one third of uh, the overall amount of enemies. So it's going to recite a very interesting um, mission. Let's start scouting out and see what we can find. Making sure we're being extra careful here. Ooh, look at that. Few sectors. Let's try to hit them. All right, three sectors, a mech and a drone. And we got two of them down right away. Perfect. Let's use the time to reload. Time for whiplash. Get that drone down a little bit more. It's almost dead. That's perfect. Let's give Fury some more focus by killing the drone. Perfect, he's full now. And we can start hitting the sectors. It's one. And that's number two. Killing the first one. And thanks to Silent Killer, we're not being remo um, revealed. We're also not going to be removed, but we're mainly not going to be revealed. I'm ready. Okay, so. Closing on target position now. I think we're going to leave the last one standing just as is. Really can't do that much. I'd rather spend some time in repositioning everyone. That would be this here is a good position. Zirkim can take the other high ground. Good, so we're at 25 enemies when we killed uh, when we've killed that pack. Now the question is where's the rest? that. That's a Berserker plus three Advent and a drone, another five, so that would bring us to 30. Easy peasy parry here. And we are back. Uh, 
Let's make sure that we can kill as many of the new pack as possible. So that'll give us another shot for hit and run. And we might even be able to kill the drone with it. Okay, so how do we want to deal with the sector? Probably just taking a normal shot, to be honest. Steadying our weapon. And that'll be it. So we still got a Berserk and two more Advent over there. I think one was a Grenadier, but I haven't caught the last one. But theoretically get out of here again. The right way to play it though, in my opinion, is to become aggressive now. Moving in. And that could be a kill. Come on. Renvin, crit. Well, it is a kill. We do have Blade Storm, and there is actually nothing that the Berserk can do about it. So we're going to parry. Turning on Ghost Walker. Tower here could be exploded. Moving as ordered. All right, Zirkim moves up here. Roby moves over here. Uh, Galen can stay back. So, what's the deal back here? It's a Grenadier. Nothing to be afraid about. And then there was one more. Either a gunner or a normal trooper. Taking quite a few overwatch shots and just for security measures, let's give Renvin here an aid protocol so that they focus Fury instead of him. Another overwatch. The Berserk is already dead, which means we have two more Normal Advent Troopers. Yeah, it was a gunner. Yeah, it was a gunner. We do not have another run and gun, but with high ground. This here will trigger the a lightning, uh, with lightning reflex, the overwatch. With high ground, we might be able to make something happen. 35%, not particularly great, but I think good enough. Just need a hit. Okay.
All right, moving over. It's time for a good reload. Well, I mean, we could theoretically flank him here. But that is risky. It could, it might as well trigger an additional pack, which I, I don't want to happen. Hmm. It's a peculiar situation because a ghost uh, ghost walker is still running. Uh, as soon as it runs off, though, she might be spotted out. So we can't stay there. I don't want to lose her concealment. There is nowhere to hide. <sighs> Go on. One over here. Still a 50-50. Good job. That's exactly what we were looking for. Which now means that Fury can move in. Kill this guy and we already knew that there would be no one back there. Because we scouted it out beforehand. So you can move up to here and that is 30 enemies down I'm, I'm trusting you here Got it covered. apparently can't hit with a sniper rifle so might as well steady the weapon. You know, just out of curiosity, we could take over the tower. It's only a 30% chance, but if we would, that would give us a keen advantage. 40%. It's not too bad. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Oh shit, I shouldn't have reloaded. We had an auto loader. Moving to Overwatch. Good, so 30 down. Question of the day is where is the rest? Not even alien movement. God damn it. They are hiding quite well. Let's start with the tower. We're not particularly in a rush. Out. So might as well start to uh, to strip down the tower bit by bit. Let's wait with Edgar Allan Poe for a second. We're finishing the tower first. That's it, tower is down. 31. Put ourselves in 
decent cover. I guess that'll be okay. I'm a bit afraid about this side here. We haven't really paid a lot of a lot of attention to it. So I don't want to peek over there at the same time, I realize. We so far are only like looking into this direction and we need to spot out. We haven't really spotted out that house here so far. Theoretically, there could be still enemies around. Should have summoned the ghost now that we do have time and corpses. The Templar Ghost, that is. Again, no movement, nothing. Which is crazy if you think about it. Alright, summoning a ghost. We can, we might as well use the ghost in order to scout out that building. What? Whoa! <laughs> Are you kidding me? These sneaky little bastards. Are you for real? I thought there might be a drone or something, but I was I definitely wasn't expecting like what? A complete uh, a complete uh, pack of them. It looked like an entire rainbow pack, meaning eight of them. We're not particular in uh, particularly in position to, to fight them. Hmm. Good. Let's scout out what we can find. Moving Dragon over over there. Moving Dark Tower and Oxus over here into full cover. Renman takes full cover over here. Next turn we got Run and Gun. Can't even see a single one of them. want to get vision. <laughs> what? Two additional drones on top of it. All right, well. So we got one here. There's at least one there, potentially another one here. All right, let's give everyone protection from, from explosives. We're fortifying our position here. Well, 
Battle Fury is out of actions. That stinks. Okay, if we are somehow... Oh, now we can see a stun answer over there. All right. That will not hit the captain, but everyone else. Let's see how many disoriented signs we're getting. Five. here we can't really see anyone it's a bit annoying sniper position feels that the house is blocking all of our shots probably over here to be honest steadying our weapon now we already flashbanged we don't need to flashbang again We are in half cover. Might as well move over here to take full cover. On the move. And finally get the uh, line of sight on all of uh, the enemies. Okay. So I'm going to position myself here, which means we're taking three blade storm attacks, maybe even more. The ghost is most likely going to die. Can we hand over an action to the ghost? No, we can't. Okay. But what we can do is we can a protocol the ghost, which at least gives them half cover. Let's see how long the ghost can stand there with Bladestorm. That's a solid miss. Very nice. That's full cover plus. Um, NA protocol. It's almost impossible for them to hit. Suppression. Yep, figured that that might happen. That's the first blade storm attack. Great. And they can't move super far because uh, they are all um, disoriented. Full cover, disorientation, and a protocol that's minus 80. That's the second blade storm attack. That's unfortunately flanking, but still, um, disoriented plus um, a protocol, that's full cover, equivalent, minus 40. 
So maybe I was wrong. Maybe we can actually pull this off. This is minus 80 on his shot again. So much damage. Another minus 80. <laughs> they did not even touch him. An untouchable, but how are you supposed to shoot a ghost? It's not solid matter, right? Just kidding, of course they can theoretically shoot him. Well, well, well. I would consider that a success overall. Drone is down. Unfortunately, we don't have an another line of sight, which is really sad. Um, so there is still an Overwatch going. Uh, let's get the uh, let's get rid of the Overwatch first, shall we? Moving all the way up to here. Very nice. Untouchable and implaceable. Damn it, we don't have enough movement. I think that's the right moment in time to get the teamwork going. Grappling up here, and that might might as well be two kills if we can play our cards right. Let's do this. Moving over here. Let's kill this guy first, which triggers hit and run. Pulling up the officer. Damn it, I thought I pulled him in rain. <sighs> Too bad. I did not. I should have moved over here, pulled him in range so that we can finish someone. That way I wouldn't have needed to um, use the teamwork. Okay, none of uh, these will give us any line of sight, which is really disgusting. Uh, so, let's try it in a different way. We need to move up and kill a few of them, at least. Still up. 
We're overwatching with our sniper. Moving over here. Moving over to here to finish the stun answer. This here should deal with both of them. Not a great way to kill someone, but I just want to get rid of both of them. Problem is the Advent Captain here will not just die, unfortunately. I go where you tell me. I know where you are. Good ghost walker to not lose our concealment. This is probably not going to kill him. Well, it is, but I was about to say it would set him up to um, be killable by the Bladestorm. But that would have uh, dealt with him. So we're almost done with the enemy, almost. Taking nice cover. Let's get this guy. Hopefully we can ignite him so that he burns. Nope. Just normal damage. That's it. Oh, what we're definitely going to do is we're taking away... We're taking away the disorientation, which means... that um, the blade storm attack can actually hit. You know what? This is even more efficient. Going to kill him. Fair enough. And then with momentum, we're moving back so that the Blade Storm attack will actually kill him. Which leaves only the um, captain over here. Captain, oh, captain. Moving to here, not the best position, but still an okay one. And that might be a kill for him. Nope, it's not. Sirkim unfortunately fumbled. Which means we're doing what I wanted to do. Anyways. This world is ours. Hitting him. Only the armor. Parrying and the Bladestorm will kill him. Good. 
good. So that's 10 additional enemies dealt with. Which means we are now at 35, if I'm not mistaken. No, let's shortly think about it. We started with 20, killed two packs with five, that's 30. And this one here, which is a pack of 10. So we're at 40. Okay. I go as ordered. That means probably only one to a maximum of two additional packs that are even left. Okay, let's move everyone into a secure position. I don't want to immediately fight again. Time for a reload. In just general safe positioning. So, moving everyone up. Still like the high ground up here. Gosh, what an intense fight overall. And I'm wondering, why haven't we spotted those guys out beforehand? Like, yes, I, I, the building was not secured yet, but how can an entire pack... They, they must have been standing here, just waiting. Turn in, turn out, turn in, turn out. It's not that they had made any movement sound. I'll go quickly. It's crazy if you think about it. They were just waiting to ambush us. Sneaky little AI. Yeah, but luckily we could shift our flanks quite fast. And with the ghost, so that was really the MVP um, play of uh, of the last fight. The ghost basically standing in the middle of everyone, not giving a damn. So out of pure interest, oh, it's not as big as I remember it, but it's still good. Okay, so Zirke moves up slowly but surely, and I think after this turn we might be kind of in a position where we can where we can think about advancing afterwards. But first, we need to reload everyone. I like the I like the position, but the problem is as soon as we're triggering anything over here, it'll be bad. So we gotta capture this rooftop here sooner or later. Got it covered. Okay, let's get everyone in position, including the ghost. Putting ourselves to here, shouldn't trigger anything. Next round is reloading, steadying weapons, and so on. We, ha we haven't heard anything like no further pack that 
has moved at all. Which leads me to believe they're probably within the two houses. So now is a good time to get the cooldowns back and reload. Good. We're reloading the weapons that do not have an auto loader. Ones that do have an auto loader obviously don't need to be reloaded. One more turn until Ghost Walker. Which means I don't really want to move. It might appear like a pretty mundane strategy to overwatch here, but believe me, we need to get our cooldowns back. We have killed almost 40 enemies, which tells me that the only enemy that is left over might be only like one big pack of 10 enemies. There's still a boss. There's always a boss in uh, the HQs. Is that the pack? Oh shit, yeah, 52 hit points. Oh my god, that is a lot. He has five armor? Holy moly. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it's on, that is for sure. It is motherfucking on. I could be an asshole and end the mission right here and leave the big battle for the next time. Or I can play through it. Uh, let's give it one round and see how it goes. Good, uh, we definitely got to start with a big boom. Yep, that seems about right. Just shredding everything, hopefully removing a lot of cover. Beautiful. And thanks to Salvo, can even take another shot. <laughs> so good. All right, rapid deployment. There's absolutely nothing wrong with making sure that these guys are being flashbanged. remote start Ghost Walker makes it possible for us to move over here there we go that's the remote start I was looking for there we go We're leveling the entire base. Good riddance. All right.
fortifying, we got run and gun, and we got ourselves a nice extra action. Moving up. That's just the implaceable. We still got bonus actions left over. Heavy Lancer goes down. Perfect. And we can continue with the Purifier. Target neutralized. Good job. Sirkim. You made me proud. Hoping we could grab it all the way over. Can't grab it down there. Hmm. Okay, let's wait with that. So, moving up to here, that's full cover for him. He has um, Blade Storm. Oh, we're going to stay down there, that's fine. going to give him an extra action. Nice little hit. Good job. And we got Shredder, which means he's definitely going to take a shot at the boss to get rid of the remaining armor. All right. Oh, yeah. We are not done, guys. We are not done. Okay, that's a good position. We're going to keep that in mind. Interesting. Okay, we'll keep that in mind as well. No need to act immediately. Moving over here. Well, he was already... Um, oh, nice. Elite Expanded Magazine is good. He could have been already dead with the Bladestorm attack, but you know how it goes. Bladestorm can theoretically miss. Moving in. And softening him up. Just softening him up, that's all. We do have two plate storm attacks. Shut him up. Knock him down. Now it's time for our run and gun. Can't run all the way up to him. 
But I'm fine. Even if we end in the open, we're going to be fine. Don't worry. Alright, let's hit him. I was hoping for a bit more intense hits. Another Elite Expanded Magazine, that's great. I don't want to deal with the tower, to be honest, so... What we're going to do instead is we're moving down here. And hopefully kill this guy. Good. Moving to here, so that'll be two blade storm attacks. And I was promising you one round of combat against the pack, and apparently one round was all it took to decimate them completely. That's how good our team is, guys. That is how good our team is. <laughs> okay. The first damage that we take, ironically, comes through an explosion. Could have taken any other position. Not directly adjacent to it. Well, that's it for this uh, run. We are already at 52 minutes and there is more than the tower. That's why the mission would have been done by now. That was a pack of eight, so we're, if my math is right, at 43. Meaning there's probably one more pack, 44 with the tower. And we probably a pack of four to five. Maybe. Uh, we're going to see that in the next run as well as the aftermath. Uh, so maybe next run is actually going to be a bit of a shorter uh, video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, thanks for supporting the channel. As always, drop a like and comment down below. Much appreciated. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.